Hi, I'm Ryan with ProAgeFormance.com and today I'm going to show you how to build a, an 11 plate hydrogen fuel cell. I'm going to start with our acrylic. Go ahead and place your bolts in. I'm using um, this just to hold the fitting off so we have an even working plane. Go ahead and start with uh, a gasket, place it on the middle there, and you're going to start two knots. Go ahead and move that all the way down, and you're going to put your power plate on. Don't worry about the nuts touching the metal, we can always fix that later. Then you're going to go ahead and put your gasket on. And a neutral. And you're going to put four neutrals. That's one. There's two. That's three. And there's four. Go ahead and slip on one more. Don't worry about it if it touches. Like I said, we can fix that later. And you're going to go with your other power plate. Now you're going to take this power plate and put it on the opposite side that you put before. Go ahead and put your gasket on and slide that down. Now you can go ahead and put this other nut on. And now you can do four more neutral plates. That's one. Make sure that's center. That's two. There's three. And there's four. Go ahead and put your last nut on this side. Slide that down. Put the gasket on. Now you're going to put your other power plate on. And finish with your last gasket. Now go ahead and at this time slide your other acrylic piece on. And slide your other nuts on. I use lock nuts. It saves, uh, it takes a little bit extra time, but in the long run, it works out better. I'll just put those four on now, and I'll save you some time with the video. And I'm just gonna tighten these down a little bit. Now, as you tighten these down, make sure that the nuts are not touching any of the other metal. Make sure they're moving freely unlike this one. So all you have to do is just adjust them a little bit. Just pushing the other plates away. And now they're moving freely. Just make sure as you tighten they don't smash up against the other plates which will happen. Now what you're going to do is Go ahead and finish tightening. And make sure you do it evenly. Don't tighten one all the way, otherwise you'll crack you'll crack that acrylic. We wouldn't want that. Now what you want to do is take your ruler 
and make sure you are 4.8 centimeters so 48 millimeters all the way around Now after you finish that, you go ahead and take those nuts and slide them against your power plates. Now no need to make them too tight because all they have to do is touch very little. Just a touch. I'm going to go ahead and slide that one on. And there you have it. This cell is capable, capable of producing up to one liter of hydrogen. Um, check us out at ProHformance.com for all your hydrogen needs.